So do you remember the last time that I found a cheap Irish mansion and the only way I could show it to you guys was by going through the little pictures up on Daft's website and talking about all the rooms from maybe the three pictures and the overhead map that we had? Well, I swore that the next time I found a mansion that was cheap for a mansion, I was going to get in contact with the selling agent and I was going to just beg him to see could we come in and have a look around. This place behind me is that very mansion. So John the agent said it was no problem for us to come in and have a look around. So I have my camera, I have you guys with me, which of course I need. I have my tripod and I have my boots on again. So are you ready to see what 275,000 euro gets you in a cheap Irish mansion? Of course you do. Come on. <laughs> Okay, so this is her, built in the 1700s by a Quaker family here in Tipperary, not far from Care. This place has six bedrooms, it has mains water, it has electricity, it has the most amazing outbuildings that you are ever going to see. This is like a museum. And it has 12 acres of land. This is insane. Are you ready to have a look inside? Come on. <laughs> Okay, so I'm up at the front door, looking out over the little gardens below. Now, obviously because this is Ireland, we're not gonna use the front door because we're gonna go in the back door because that's what's done here. So we're gonna have to go around the back. <laughs> Okay, so we're at the side door. We're in this little courtyard that to the back of me has a massive outbuilding. And we're gonna go see that in a little while when we're finished with the house. So back around to the red door. And it has one of these fantastic look. Oh, I love them. You ready to look inside? Of course you are. So this is our room when we come in first. We have lovely big shuttered sash windows here looking out onto the garden, which are absolutely beautiful. We have a door into the main part of the house here. Transport, if you need it. We have a little serving hatch here, which is beautiful. <laughs> then we have a little doorway, gateway here. We'll go in there in a minute, so don't be looking at that yet. <laughs> and around here, we have a really, really nice hearth. Now, it's kind of hard to see because it's a little bit dark in here, but maybe if I just go back out a little bit, we'll be able to see it a bit more. So this is it. This is kind of like a utilitarian room now. It's not one of those places that's kind of given us the vibe of how fancy this house is. It's always a weird one when you come in through a side door like this. You're really only seeing the kind of, I suppose, the working quarters at the moment. So I'm gonna go now and we're gonna go into one of the fancier parts over here. So maybe let's just not look when we go through this room, put this to the ground and we'll go out into the main hall and have a look at what we're dealing with out here. Now, okay, so this is our little atrium when you come in through the front door. This is the room we've just come through and this is our front door. It is huge. It's so big. I don't think I can actually explain how big it is. It's so big. Look at that key, like for God's sake. And the bars for security in behind the door. This is so cool. So this is really the darkest room in the place and it's really the only one I'm gonna probably need to use a flash on, but you kind of get the idea. So we have two rooms downstairs, one here, one here, and we're gonna go back into this one here now and have a better look. Okay, 
So this is the reception room that we walk through without anybody peeping. <laughs> so again, at the front, we have lovely, lovely sash windows with really, really nice shutters on the sides. Look at these. And look at that view. Oh man, can we buy this? So over here, we have the doorway into the stairs. Epic built-ins, I have to say. There's a lot of built-ins in this place and you know me with a built-in. I'm an absolute sucker for a built-in. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, these are very, very cool. <laughs> and then all the belongings on the bottom one. Really, really nice. I love that one. Then over here we have a piano because obviously everybody needs a piano. A really nice little vernacular chair. Look at that. God, I'd say that's ancient. Big fireplace. Big, big mirror because it's a huge house. And another built-in over here which seems to go back out to that little servant hatch in the other room so that's this one what do you think do you like it you ready to see another one come on okay so this is our second downstairs reception room Ooh, that's a nice stove isn't it look at that so again this is very similar to the first one we have a really really nice big window these rooms are kind of getting progressively in better condition as I come into them. Floors are a little bit more stable, things like that. These are really, really nice. We've another window over here with its shutters half closed at the top. It's kind of nice to see them still working, to be fair. Another big fireplace. A really nice kind of an alcove over here and oh god a sewing machine <laughs> oh wow oh wow look at that well hello singer oh isn't that so pictures this is a really really nice room i love it it's definitely a lot finer than the other room obviously mined it a lot better look at that bed <laughs> so basically this is what i'm dealing with floor wise downstairs so when i tell you i have zero intention of filming myself walking up the stairs you need to understand that it's just purely a safety thing. I will check back in when I'm at the top of the first staircase. Ooh. This staircase is mad. Okay, I've stopped a bit earlier than I thought I was going to. This is quite solid here. But look at this. Look. So there's a window. And it kind of goes up in underneath the staircase it's kind of hard to see from here so i'm going to just step back a little bit just come up the stairs a wee bit so this is where i've come from <laughs> that's like that window goes the whole way up there to the next floor i don't even know why so this is where i am now oh we're getting up to some sunshine yay <laughs> and we can finally get a good look at the stairs too because it's quite nice. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's your half me window. <laughs> look. <laughs> That's hilarious. Look at it. That's so funny. I want to thank you all while you're here now for having the patience with how bad this light is. I might maybe need to invest in a power camera. Look at that stairs. Beep. Okay, let's have a look at these rooms. So when you come up on the landing first, you've got this little room here. This is nice and solid now. Look at that. 
So we have a little set of coat hooks. Very modern looking light up there. Beautiful, huge window. I mean, this is mammoth. For the size of this little room, that's a big window. And it's just kind of a really, really nice little room. This is in quite nice condition up here. I'm quite surprised based on what I was looking at downstairs. Look at them views. This is so lovely. So this is the little room. Now we come out and we're probably going to have, I suppose, comrades of those two reception rooms downstairs. Now, as you can see, this is what I'm dealing with on the floor here. So I'm going to be extra careful. The trick here is to look for a line of nails. Do you see like this here? And if you walk where the nails are, you at least know you're walking on something solid as opposed to walking in the gaps. Okay, so mirror. Dual aspect on this room, which is lovely. So you have two sets of windows, two sets of shutters, really, really bright room. Like every other room here, we have a lovely big hearth. Little washstands, two washstands. And back out to this room here. I mean, this is a dry room. There are a couple of little cracks up there, which could be cosmetic, could be more. You're looking again at um, ceilings, floors to upstairs. This is still not attic level up above us. So really these are floors from upstairs you're working with here, not roof when it comes to repairs. So we'll have a look at them when we get a bit further up. Let's go have a look at the other room. Remember, walk on the nails. <laughs> oh wow. I can't believe there's another room over here. Oh yeah, sure that would be on top of that little scullery we came in through. So again, we're gonna go back on the lines where we have nails, just to be on the safe side. These rooms are really, really, kind of like mirrors of each other. Big fireplace, big massive window here at the front. Again, ceiling-wise in here, not terrible. There's something going on in that corner over there, but this isn't terrible. I mean, it's not terrible. <laughs> it's actually really, really lovely. Let's see what's in this room. Oh, okay. I did not expect this. Oh, steps. <laughs> I really didn't expect this. Okay. So this is kind of, I suppose, a little storage room. It's that little annex where the scullery is, maybe somewhere where somebody slept that maybe wasn't the people that owned the house. You never know. A little bit more rough and ready in here than the other rooms, but kind of cool and really loving them bed frames. <gasps> Look at the little one in the corner over there. I'm not walking over there to see that. <laughs> wow. Okay. Lots of rooms. Let's go see another one. <laughs> okay, so remember I said earlier that I wasn't going to film going up the stairs? Well, I've been up here already and I can guarantee you that the stairs get slightly shakier the further you go up. So I am honestly 100% going to check in at the tippy top this time because it's a little bit scary. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay, so this is our top landing up here with one more room off to each side. Let's go have a look. So these rooms up here are a little bit more the worse for wear than that floor we've just been on. Everything's a little bit shabbier. We still have these great little pieces of furniture, little sewing machine and stuff like that up here. The little tables are great, but really overall just in a little bit worse condition. Now, if you look up here, you'll see we have the hatch for the attic, which is great for inspecting condition. And even on this wall, which would be the chimney breast wall, you can see these really convenient little holes so you can check what condition the chimneys are in from below. I mean, really not the most ideal setup here, but look, chimneys are going to need to be replaced in this house. And having access points to look at them at the moment is quite good. 
nice bright window as well which is always great and the view out of this one is just lovely up on these upper levels you can see the top of that scullery annex and the little fields out the back it's just really really nice so across the landing we have built-ins to the left which are really functional and i love those it's a bit dark up here to see them but in here you still have that same kind of slightly worse for wear finish that you have in the other room that we were just in little bits of timber and stuff like that beading's fallen off the walls this is one of the less loved rooms in the house now kind of has an attic vibe has an attic hatch so it's not exactly the attic but it still has that very kind of basic quality that you don't really get in the rooms downstairs that piece of plywood in front of you too is more than likely covering up yet another fireplace which is brilliant so fireplaces in basically every room in the house and that little door brings us back out to the landing again now we're done that is every room you ready to go back outside good okay i'm back downstairs safe and sound do you remember this do you want to go have a look Okay, what have we got here? So this is like a two-story extension with our little floor holes here, upstairs windows. I mean, for all intents and purposes, quite a substantial back extension that seems to go to you can't really see this now as if I'm in the light, but this is like single height here. <laughs> and then it hops back up here to double height again. This is bizarre. Lovely floors. This little boy up here. Actually more than likely a little doorway back in the day. These are strange extensions, aren't they? Mad. <laughs> Definitely lots you could do with them anyway, <laughs> for sure. And there's a little view out into one of your fields. Remember, 12 acres, lads. It's a whole lot of land and a whole lot of house. Okay, I'm back outside. And I want to talk to you quickly about these outbuildings. So I'm just going to go out around to the front here so you can see. So do you see this one here? Yeah. So this is where we're going next. Now there are a lot of outbuildings with this place. There are this one here. There are also like a fully functioning cow farmyard jobby over here lots and lots of space lots and lots of buildings lots and lots of functional stuff to go with that 12 acres but this building here it's almost nicer than the house is this the week of outbuildings being nicer than the house i think so come on aren't these cobbles absolutely beautiful so this is our outbuilding. This is where we're going to go next. Now I know before I go in here that we don't really have a lot of high expectations when it comes to outbuildings. This is going to blow your mind. So this huge flagstone floored outbuilding is like a little museum. Look. So we have bed frames, we have little vernacular furniture pieces. We have agricultural bobbers because they don't really know what they are. Look at this, look. Oh, wait till you see this. Oh, look at this. Lads, that's almost nicer than the sewing machine. <laughs> and look over here. 
We have a bike. We have plows. We have all manner of fantastic old fire machinery. We have a nice roof, which again, thinking ceiling, floor, not roof, because this is what I saw in the corner. <laughs> you see this? Do you see that? <laughs> Look, it's a fucking stairs <laughs> in an outbuilding. When have we ever seen a stairs in an outbuilding? We going up? Of course we are. Come on, let's do this. It's dark for a minute now. Okay. Ooh. I think to be fair, that might have been another stairs I could have done with not filming coming up. <laughs> it was a bit scary. Look at this though. Oh, wow. So we have lots of options for light here from these windows that are slatted at the moment. There's one there on the gable end. This roof is fairly modern too. It's in really, really nice condition. This is so big. What's that? <gasps> Look. Is that a fireplace? No, is that a, it is. Oh my God. That's a bloody chimney. <gasps> oh, this straw, I'm gonna be afraid to even walk in. Okay, I'm gonna reset the camera. Let's have a better look at this. Okay, we're back to the noisiest camera mode in the world. To have a look at that. Oh my God. This is so cool. This is a very, 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 very cool outbuilding. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Fireplace in the outbuilding. Yay. This is big. This is substantial. This is like probably half as big as my farmhouse again. This building is and it has a really really new roof on it a slate roof at that so not just an agricultural building corrugated iron roof but a nice roof has so many big windows and doors and hatches and stuff where they used to bring grain and all down back in the day this is so cool and you get original features like that and that super cute little staircase there staircase is hilarious it's very dangerous but it's hilarious i'm gonna have one little look out through these windows and then i'm gonna get myself back down onto terra firma <laughs> okay let's have a little peep out through here so that's my outbuilding which i think was worth seeing i'm really 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 glad that i got to go around that with you all and we're back outside and I think we're kind of done. I don't really want to go and see the farmyard bits because they're not really my cup of tea. I want to show you the really old bits. Did you see the apples down at the front when I was coming in as well? See where all the red gates are? There's an apple tree. Like, mm, there, <laughs> just at the side of the gate. So you have apples as well if you were to buy this. So what do you think? Worth it for 275,000? Could you get someone to go in on it with you? Maybe me? <laughs> Don't touch me. It'd kill me. This is absolutely beautiful. Thank you all for coming along to have a look. Thank you to John Stokes, the agent for letting us in. He was very, very good. Thank you to the owners for being so good to let us in to have a look around as well. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more house tours. And if you own a house, any kind of a house once it's an old house, if you're selling it, if you're not selling it, if you want to just preserve it for posterity for the rest of your life on film, then send me a DM on Instagram or get in touch with me below and we will do a house tour for you for free. <laughs>